And now for a read aloud of The Lion and the Mouse. Once upon a time, there was a little mouse. The little mouse liked to scamper about among the trees in the jungle. One day, quite by accident, he ran across the paws of a sleeping lion. This woke the lion up from his peaceful afternoon nap. As you can imagine, the lion was not at all pleased. He did not like to be woken up before he was ready. It made him grumpy, very grumpy. The lion opened one eye, then he opened the other eye. The lion reached out and angrily grabbed the tiny mouse in his big paws. The lion was just about to eat him when the mouse cried out, Please, kind sir, I didn't mean to disturb you. If you will let me go, I will be forever grateful. I promise that one day I will return your kindness by helping you. The lion laughed out loud. How could such a little animal ever help so great an animal as a lion? He asked. All the same, the lion decided to let the little mouse go. Not long after, the mouse was once again scurrying about among the trees in the jungle. Suddenly, the sound of a loud roar rose up into the air. The mouse shivered with fright and considered running in the opposite direction. However, the mouse bravely set off to discover who or what had made such a loud noise. The mouse came upon a small clearing in the trees. There, he saw the very same lion trapped in a hunter's net made of ropes. The lion was roaring ferociously. He was also struggling to free himself from the tangled web of ropes. Sadly, no matter how hard he struggled, he was not able to escape the hunter's trap. Once again, the little mouse thought about running away. The lion's roars were so frightening, but he also remembered his promise to the lion. He had promised that if the lion let him go, he would return his kindness. He was a mouse who kept his promises. He thought very carefully and came up with a plan. He ran to the side of the great beast and began to gnaw on the ropes. He kept on gnawing and gnawing and gnawing with his sharp teeth. He gnawed until he could gnaw no more. At last, he made a hole in the net big enough for the lion to escape through. The noble lion sprang from the net and shook his mane. Then he looked up at the tiny mouse. The tiny mouse looked down at the lion. Thank you, said the lion. You kept your promise. And with that, the lion sprang forward and disappeared into the shadows cast by the trees. So the moral of the story is, friends who are little in size can still be great friends.